My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Elden Ring. We are here in the Divine Tower of Limgrave, about to understand the fullness of its purpose. Something to do with the the pickup we made from the God Slayer, right? Mm-hmm. Go towards the obvious then. They do look like fingers. I'll give them that much. Restore the power of the great rune. Great rune restored. Godric's great rune. Let's have a look at that. Key item and gain, I believe. Raises all attributes. A great rune of the Shardbearer Godric. Its blessing raises all attributes. This great rune is known as the Anchor Ring, found in the center of the Elden Ring. The first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. Hmm? New slot? Can we equip it? Excuse me? Can I not access the other side of the screen there? Just under our memory slots, right? Ah, uh, maybe I have to go to a, a side of grace. That would make sense. The memory slots are also accessed through that way. Whoop. <laughs> Almost met a terrible end. I think it's just... Get out of here now, right? I can't even possibly imagine what else I might want to do there. So! If we were to continue, there was someone telling us that we should follow through the back and cross the bridge. Now that might have been people telling us to go up to the Leonian area and the Grand Dectus Plateau. But I can't quite entirely recall. Just before doing that, though, let's get back to the round table hold. Just check in. See what's up. I've done some stuff. Have NPCs anything to say about the stuff we've done? Or have spawned or disappeared because of? <gasps> ah. This is now open. Okay, I can still put my... I can't put my weapons away, but I can chain them. Okay, fine. I'll go with the smallest weapon possible. Oh, these are the two fingers. Hello. Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya the Finger Reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shadbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring. Root of the Golden Order. Anchor of all lands. Giver of grace. Wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, Life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek 
another of its kind to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. No problem. Where do you want me to get that one from? A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the Earth Tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? <sighs> I am. I do want to see what we can actually get with uh, that remembrance. Here, our kind of like boss soul mechanic, our kind of uh, analog for humanity and shard splitting as well. So the remembrance of the grafted would give me the ability to get either the axe of Godric, a great axe with the... That's only 34 strength and 22 dex. Well, okay, only. Uh, however, the skill for it is unique. The Great Axe wielded by Godric the Grafted. This golden battle axe is emblazoned with the figure of a beast, representing the strength of Godfrey, first Elden Lord and Patriarch of the Golden Lineage. I command thee, kneel, for I am Lord of all that is golden. Unique skill, I command thee, kneel. Repeatedly smash the axe of Godric into the ground, unleashing two earth-shaking shockwaves. Follow up with additional input to produce a third. Uh, or... The Grafted Dragon. The embodiment of the power that still remained in the dragon's head that was grafted to Godric's left arm. The wielder's arm will take the form of the small dragon, spouting sharp dragon fangs at the fist. The weapon cannot be two-handed. It has the unique skill Bear Witness. Grant the small dragon a fleeting glimpse of life and thrust it skywards, spewing flames over a wide frontward area. Unfortunately, would require an investment into faith. Not that much more into faith, and this would be wieldable with a straight pickup of uh, one of the talismans. Honestly, I don't think I'm super keen for either of these. I want to use other remembrances to get things that are a little bit more suited to our build. So I think it's possible we actually uh, use that for a great many runes. Speaking of great runes. Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended. To your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. Gonna repeat that for me? I can't read sign language. Ah. Ah. The children tainted by Listen. Listen. Maybe I just need to continue standing near, otherwise she the exits dialogue. Yep. Has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished. Show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Don't need to tell me twice. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring. Of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation. The 
front of the litter, his divine blood sorely diluted. So the rest of it's going to be harder. Go forth. Let's, let's check out the rest of this room. Touch the two fingers. Sure. Hey, we've learned rapture from it. Certainly don't need to do that again. What do the rest of you have to say about our meeting with the two fingers? In fact, I know that there's someone out in that direction who will now talk to us. Give the weathered dagger. Let's have a quick look at what we're going to be giving there. Is That's not the one that... Yeah, dagger received from fear. It's a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but is now worn down and marred by black gash. I mean, gold and silver intertwined is this person's outfit. Sure, D. Did have it. Need some... Well, how did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Mm, that's unfortunate. Oh, why do I feel like I just killed a different NPC? <laughs> Fear, please, tell me I did okay. I am pleased. Would you like now? I'll pop the Baldekin's blessing immediately, but there might be an update on this now that the dagger is no longer in my hands. You are so. Baldkin's blessing. And good day. And nothing else to say afterwards. All right. I don't think I have any grave glove with number three. We haven't really done anything that would have gotten that. We have a couple smithing stones, three, but probably are not enough to upgrade one of our weapons. If I had to guess. Uh, quickly, let's pop the Baldkin's blessing before I forget about it. Those are of a challenger who's his mark. Ooh, you don't think I'm dead well. this time? Now lay out your own. Strength and armament. Yeah, we could put a little bit of work into the Miss Begotten Short Bow, but that's definitely something that we want to replace with something else. Um, Smoothing Sons 3. Yeah, just short of being able to really do too much there either. Same is going to be true here. Yep. All right. Let's check downstairs, just in case. And then we'll wrap up with the character who said that they would only speak to us after we had felled one of the great marks. Collected a great rune, possibly. So I think we might be able to command their attention. In fact, I think specifically they said once you open those doors and talk to the fingers, then I'll pay you some mind. But until such a time, get nicked. Hello. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then just as promised, I bid you Told welcome. You. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. That I remain constant? You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds. Caelid Wilds. Greater Rykard. Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given. Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lane Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Oh! Ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? 
I am indeed. Tell me about each of these magnificent characters. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. As we've slain them, about Radan. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds to Limgrave's and east. Her rot. And now Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Caelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. How about Rickard? Praetor Rikard is the lord of the volcano manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. The grave sin of blasphemy. What have you considered blasphemy? Tell me about Morgoth. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there. Until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. Sure, what about Renala? The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyurnia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The Great Rune dwells within the Amber Egg. That was Radagon's gift to her. Yes, that makes sense, because I was wondering, are they going to have us slay Renala? Given the fact I've been led to believe she is an NPC, I would be surprised. Will you finally talk to me? No? Still holding a grudge, I see. Well, uh, hang on. Hmm. I was just wondering if maybe they were the rightful owner of the... Excuse me? New person? Hello. You have I've not quite seen a style. Before. I am the Feli Lu, warrior. Here by decree of my father. The pleasure's mine. As a fellow tarnished, guided by grace to the round table hold. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room enters garden just over there. Entry. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. It absolutely has been, but I need to know about you. You have an incredible fashion sense. And one of us is going to have to change. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. It's about time I'll see you again. Sure. I'll count the moments. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing further unlocked here for us to purchase and no bell borrowing to offer. You're still just here, stinking up the place, right? I asked you not to disturb me, thankful of that. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Ah, uh, hopefully I can provoke them into attacking me in the other world, such that I can slay them in response. All right. Anyone else got anything to say? I think not. Let's make our way back out. 
So what's next up for us? Honestly, it could be all of the marks that we have up here. Very simply. Very easily could be. Um, I could go back to one of the areas where I have failed to kill someone. In fact, one of those immediately comes to mind. There's a... Actually, where exactly is it? Dang. I think it was just to the left of this area. Where at nighttime I found a big bird. Big hawk bird. Bird hawk big. And I imagine it would probably not have too much poise and be easy to kill. I'm just going around collecting heads for a while, I think. Huh? Find yourself maidenless, soft to you with you. Seek the Rose Church, west of Gate Town. Bravo as well, we pick up there. Ah, I am going to need to get into nighttime as well. Honestly, probably should have just spawned in Ella up here. Actually, this will also give me a nice opportunity to have a conversation with... Ooh, they've upgraded the golden runes in the environment. I see, I see. So as you make progression in the main storyline, you're upgrading the general drops of the world. Ah, about Blade. Ah, then you met Blythe, did you? Blythe. Wonderful. I'm glad I pointed you in his direction. He's boorish, blunt, and couldn't find his nose with both hands. <laughs> but he's a good egg. <sighs> I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. I kind of wish I knew I could find the people... or knew where I could find the people that he wants me to find for him. But I'll trust you and hold off for a moment. Let's wait until night time, past time. Ah, there we go, great runes. Let's raise all attributes there. Pass some time until nightfall. Also do want to check exactly how high those attributes have been raised. It is... Three? But not for every stat? It says raises all attributes, but... My intelligence hasn't been raised at all. My... Endurance and strength both appear to be raised a little bit. Strange. Alright. Let's hop on torrent and then it's one of the... It's one of these, I think. Actually, no, this is way too close. Structurally, at least, it's one of these fallen ruins. Maybe it's further up on that side? Actually, yeah, that follows, that follows. We'll just warp up here to the shack and then probably have to set it back to nighttime again. No, still nighttime? Great. Actually, let me give myself a waypoint here. The hell? Did wolves just get summoned into the environment by that? I'm just gonna continue making my way away from assuming they're just gonna disappear. If they don't, I'll deal with that at the time. Some vampires. All good. Ooh, has that Starlight Shard respawned? Certainly looks like it. I mean... I'm not seeing a death bird. 
don't think this was the ruin for it. The ruin the death bird was that was... I mean, for one, not directly next to an ever jail. Which I have checked out, right? No, this is looking like it's spawning something. The Crucible Knight. Ah, yes, we've seen you before. You are using incantations to approximate the power of the God Slayers. But thankfully, they're just going to follow normal night rules for a majority of their stuff. Whoa, buddy. No! Good hit, good hit. Uh, it looks like there is a stake of America around here, which just does seem to be the case with all of these other jails. So I'm just going to immediately run back into that fight and finish it off. First things first, I'm going to change my equipment set, though. That should be fine and perfect for him. I can actually collect the runes before going in. Perfect. 17. I think I did drop 17. So I don't know what previously was docking me some amount of the value of the things I dropped previously. Oh. All right, good poise break. Opening with the heavy R2 at the very start of the fight, really helping that out. Right back at you, bud. Oh. Give me a sec. Hey, what'd I say? Just a second of heal, thank you. No! Oh, why did I get too cocky at the end there? Almost. Jump and kill him. Kill him. <laughs> well done. Aspect of the Crucible Tail. Nothing else I imagine to collect around here. Yep. Immediately hops us back out. <sighs> Every time I see another thing that's extremely cool. Makes it very, very difficult to stop expanding this build. Creates a supple tail to sweep the area before the caster. Charging enhances potency. This is a manifestation of the Earth Tree's primal, uh, primal vital energies, an aspect of the Primordial Crucial, where all life was once blended together. Wait. Hang on. I don't... I mean, if we haven't gone into that ever jail before, we definitely haven't cleared out this. Looks like there's items up on that too. Huh. <laughs> Just never thought that we hadn't approached this from this side. Sure. What's up in here? down two down if this turns out to be extremely useful i'm gonna feel quite embarrassed the arrow reach talisman i'm not even gonna try and open that one i'll just tell you what it does it increases the distance that your arrows go right arrow reach there's also precedent for such an effect in the ring system in the hawk ring um, hey just duck out of there now
Maybe this was it. Actually, come to think of it, that's far more likely. Let's go to the Warmaster Shack. Also, this is basically near the area where I was going to look for the... Reminiscence. Hey, buddy. There you are. Decided to bear the torch of my battle, huh? No, I have nothing new to say to you, I don't think. Not Fine. floating your boat, eh? Well, there's no... Still not particularly floating my boat, but we do have to advance it to night time before we go... For the death bird. Last time. Did I put a beacon down for it? Yeah, I did. It's over there. Alright. Now I'm pretty sure. Only because there's absolutely nowhere else it could be. Yes, okay, here are the giants. This is def definitely it. I think this might have been it. There we go. Where are you coming from, bud? You look significantly smaller. I don't know if I was just previously intimidated by you and now I'm not, or... Because I, I didn't get any bigger. Oh, boy. The entire set of wildlife is against us. But thankfully, gravity is somehow against the bird. I am amazed that we have not broken your poise yet. Oh god! <laughs> the heck, we just finished healing. Yeah, for a second there. Okay. I mean, honestly, I am gonna just have to make some distance myself here. Why are you the one that's closer to me? Just let me have a 1v1 boss fight. Alright. One down. And the second one down. All right, anyone else want some? Blue Feathered Branch Sword. Here's our talisman pick up here. What are you going to do for us? Raises defense when HP is low. Okay. A talisman adorned with blue feathers, once used in ancient death rituals. The heart sings when one draws close to death, and thus does one cling so tenaciously to life to render up a death worth offering. Brutal. I mean, we don't really need to clear out anything else. <gasps> yes, I knew it! The, the shine of the statue that we couldn't interact with in the Veiled Castle is the same as the one here. In fact, the statue itself is even the same. Still not sure what to do about that, but... Certainly we'll find out at some point. I think I'm just hearing the gurgling of the, uh... Yeah, can't get over the top. What are we hearing the gurgling of here? You'd think it'd be of a jump- Oh wait, hang on, are you a- Are you alive? No. An NPC in the area? I don't know what you're trying to tell me. 
I'm running away for the moment. Take that along the way, though. Five smoldering butterflies. Hell of a pickup right there. That's another fragment sprig of the Erd tree over here. I know, we don't have any direction again. Back to the Warmaster's shack, and then we'll ride in the other direction for the painting. So the other direction would be like along that way. Towards, hang on. Gotta take down some previous ones. Towards number four. Is this a new direction or is this the same direction again? Because that's where the death bird was. I guess maybe the death bird could have been protecting the site? <sighs> you know what? We're going to a completely different area. <laughs> just finding myself completely lost here. Where is someone who I didn't kill? I mean, look, there's a huge amount of them out here. Let's go to the Bellum Church and ride our way up to the Grand Lift. So unless we've already been to the Altus Plateau and I've just forgotten the name of the area, I'm assuming that the Grand Lift takes us up to the Altus Plateau. Yes. Just making sure that number one is the thing that I should be letting to guide me here. Certainly looks like it. Oh, yep, and that's the Altus Plateau. Ah. It's one of those. A quick chug and then try and make my way between the important sections as quickly as possible. <laughs> Maybe I should have just not been out in the open. Yeah, that might have done half as well. It's hanging out there if we need it, but is there an ascent around this side for us? I don't know if the horse will be able to make its way all up that. Fine. That seems to have done it. Although <laughs> I can't attack for the hell of it. <laughs> um, please. I just need to be careful in taking out the chumps in the arena. No! Ooh, they tried to do a guard counter. But thankfully, our follow-up was so fast that they couldn't. I've been on the other side of that enough times. I can entirely M and sympathize with how you feel right now, bud. Why did I have to let them get me? I was trying to see if I could use a fire arrow or something like that to set off that middle enemy. Let's get our tool set back now that we're not in a boss fight. Okay. And then I do have a fire sense. Oh, 
I thought they were especially weak to that for some reason. Didn't we read a note that said that? Okay, give me a second to drink. I'll do enough poise damage to knock you off of your horse. Scared, are we? Should be. All right, I keep forgetting that horses have momentum. Get him. Oh, still managed to get ticked there by the flame at the end. I can get behind you, though. Maybe we can clear out this a lot faster than I thought. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're going <laughs> to just stay well within my reach the entire time. Fire Blossom smithing stones, some... Smoldering butterflies there as well. Just making sure also there's no collectibles that we're running past in the areas we've cleared. There is one on... Or there was one. Hang on. Resting up against one of these ramparts, but... I guess that one's already fallen. If that's just an art of war for explaining, uh, exploring this area, it would be more than worth it. Great bait for a trap, though. Had we already gotten the one from... That was one of the art of war ones, right? Didn't give me a summer smithing stone, so I have to assume. Hey, buddy. And that's why poise damage is so important to me. The Great Mace, speaking of poise damage. Hello? Great Mace? A huge bludgeon with sharp protrusions. I implore you to recognize that was a bad time. A huge bludgeon with sharp protrusions, an enlarged version of its smaller cousin, maintains all the advantages of smaller bludgeons, boasting few deficiencies while being very capable of breaking enemy shields and stances. A shrewd choice for simple slugging matches. Endure, assume an anchored stance to brace for incoming attacks, Briefly boosting poise. Damage taken whilst using the skills reduced. Super neat. What's its stats? 28 on strength. Hmm. I like the anchor more. We can check out its moveset later though. Maybe it has enough to justify inclusion in some area or if we find another great hammer as well as a dual wield all right entire area disabled well I mean, I can't leave an item behind. It might get lonely. Get a crystal bud as well as... Stone Sword Key? Eh, Runok. Within the same realm of consumable... ...but purple. And I don't need to try and clear back in the other direction again. Great. 
takes a wee bit of time to be thorough here, but I don't think I have to deal with it again. Save, of course, this, which will pick up on the way past. While I desperately do want to check both sides, I also recognize that we are in an appropriate period for finding a side of grace if possible. We can get a bit more inquisitive at the start of the next episode. But until then, my name has been Rhapsody. We are here at the feet of the Grand Lift of Dectus in Elden Ring. Series playlist up in the top left. Use its recommendation down below. Streaming past the names of the people so generously supporting your Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. And a special thanks to this episode to Mr. Gibberish. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.